we already know that the company will report its first profit in six years. We know that at least at some point this week. We don't know, Betty, how big that number will be. You will recall the company delayed its fourth quarter and annual earnings report last month so that executives at Fannie could negotiate with their regulator over how to treat nearly $62 billion in deferred tax assets. This $62 billion with a B, that's money that could go directly back to taxpayers to the Treasury Department under the terms of Fannie's bailout. Now, even if you remove those tax credits, Fannie says it expects to report significant net income for the quarter and for the year, and that would mark a stunning turnaround for the government-sponsored enterprise forced into conservatorship back in 2008 alongside its smaller sibling, Freddie Mac. It's going to add new fuel as well to the debate over what to do with the GSEs. Combined, you'll recall they needed $188 billion in taxpayer cash to survive to date. They have paid dividends of $58 billion back to the government, leaving Fannie 80 billion and Freddie 42 billion in the hole on paper at least. They've rebounded with the overall housing market improvement. Freddie Mac reported earnings of $11 billion last year compared to a loss of $5.3 billion in 2011. Through the first three quarters of 2012, Fannie reported earnings of $9.6 billion. It lost $16.9 billion in 2011. Nobody expected them to return to profitability so quickly, and despite all the anger over the bailouts, there's been no real effort to wind them down or reform the nation's housing finance market. Instead, their footprints have only grown. They're basically backstopping 90% of the mortgages issued in the U.S. right now. Lawmakers like Virginia Senator Mark Warner want to make sure profits don't slow the reform push. Good news is they're actually starting to make money again. Bad news is if they make too much money, there may be a sense of, oh, well, let's not mess with them anymore. We need to change the current housing finance system. I spoke to Senator Warner before the Senate recess. Now, the report could come any day this week, Betty. And again, profitability here could pose problems. The bigger the number, the faster Fannie could speed up its own demise. So, Peter, does that mean that we could see action this year in Congress, or could that be slowed down? Well, Betty, it's crystal clear if you watch anyone up on Capitol Hill, there was a hearing before the recess that clearly showed that there are big disagreements over exactly what to do with Fannie and Freddie, but no question about it, a big number from Fannie will at least speed up the conversation and the debate and may put more pressure on the administration to put out their ideas.